for everyone to understand. The question is about these uh, videos that YB Tony Poa has recently published yesterday and today. I think there were three videos and perhaps a fourth one. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate YB Tony Poa. I think he has a, a career as a comedian um, and his comical capers are very, very good. I, I actually laughed when I saw those videos uh, and I think he, he brought a smile to me today. Um, so definitely very well-made videos. Uh, he should get an Emmy Award for that. Uh, but you know, the reality is, uh, if you look at the content, where did YB Tony Poa get the content for his videos? That content is from the DOJ civil lawsuit uh, against certain assets and named persons. And as, as you all know, uh, that lawsuit has yet to go to court. There's not yet been any trial, there's not yet been any defence, and there's not yet been a court decision. So I feel it is wrong uh, for YB Tony Poa to use information like that without giving the appropriate clarification. He's misleading the rakyat. And at the same time, I think uh, Tony Poa is being a hypocrite and he's applying double standards because he's not made a video about another case in court, which is uh, Lim Guan Ng's uh, bungalow scandal. Uh, so Tony Poa is a hypocrite and uh, he's applying double standards because really, he, if he applies that same logic to the DOJ lawsuit, which has not yet gone to court, he should use that same logic and make a video on the Lim Guan Ng case. But are those, are those claims true that the money went to Kirakau and Tanor and then... Well, as I told you, as I told you, those allegations are made by the US Department of Justice and the DOJ has to prove that in court first before we can say whether that is true or not. Yeah? Can we move to the next uh, question? Okay, next question. Next question. Thank you.